Hello, welcome, welcome to, to the graduated, graduated voice updates. updates. Be ready for the real tea. Details to tell. Well, with the current happenings around Pastor Ezekiel Odero's church, that is the New Life Church, and his followers all uh, all the pulling back with the government here and there, we have had Eric Omondi, the former comedian and current activist, seen it right to advise Pastor Ezekiel Odero. I want us to dive right into the awards exchange, and as we do that, please make sure that you like this video. You can share us out there, tell someone about this channel and comment down below. Tell me what is your take in regard to this matter. Also subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you do not miss out on any current happenings. Subscribe for more and feel at home. Just to point out uh, but a few of what Eric Omondi stated in regard to this matter, Eric Omondi, he advised the renowned pastor Ezekiel Odero to stick to preaching the gospel and stay clear, stay clear of politics. I don't know what is your take in regard to that. Do you feel like uh, pastor Ezekiel has stopped focusing on his preaching and now he's into politics that much or it's the other way around whereby we are having the political people, the kinds of the government people trying to attack him and all the other thing that uh, eric omondi stated is he wonder the pastor that if he continues like this the manner in which things are going on him having a pull and back with the political people he might face closure if political attacks continue so he feels that if the life of not only the life but also the membership of the people in Pastor Ezekiel's church is at a threat. They might lose their church. Remember, Pastor Ezekiel's church has over 5,000 followers. You can imagine all those people eh, right now. Uh, the question still begs is Eric Omondi really right in this matter, or he's just yapping around trying to find a relevance in Pastor Ezekiel's story? Eric Omundi also told the Kilifi based pastor to preach about Jesus Christ, healing and salvation to avoid getting himself in trouble. That he should just focus on his preaching about Jesus Christ. Kenny, what does he preach about? I wish someone talk to us in the comment section and tell me, do you feel that uh, Pastor Ezekiel preaches uh, contrary to what? he is supposed to do is it not about jesus christ and all make the people understand that you take on this take from eric omondi rather eric omondi feels that first ezekiel criticizes the government or let's say he criticizes president william ruto through his summons and that's why they are trying to attack him well some would say uh, that uh, the truth hurts the truth hurts and that's why they're trying to attack him and all we also have the comedian suggesting that the preacher of new life church in mavuen kilifi county could face all these the closure in the name of rhetorical questions and all these bull and bug between him and the president that is william ruto and all Let us quote a part of what Eric Omondi stated. Quotations. I have had some of his sermons and I would advise him to avoid that and preach the gospel or the church and or the church will be closed. Let him preach about Jesus, healing and salvation. Otherwise, his church will be closed. Well, that is just like a stern warning from Eric Omondi too pastor ezekiel like some advice of the sort as we get deeper into these stories uh, make sure that you talk to me in the comment section tell me what is it take in regard to this matter give us that uh, like i uh, like the video and you can share this out there tell someone about this channel and subscribe for more Well, Eric Omondi's advice came after the deregistration of Pastor Ezekiel's church by the state. Although there were some changes that came there after, uh, through his lawyers, Dunstan Omari, they had argued that the move to shut down his church was done out of malice and was meant to frustrate and humiliate 
him, with the lawyer dismissing claims that his client has not been filing returns, adding that allegations were unfounded and baseless. Basically, it has been rumored, apart from the links between him, that is Pastor Ezekiel being linked to the Shakahola story and all, there have also been rumors that he has not been paying taxes and filing returns and all and that is what had led to partly his the closure of his church remember prophet O'Warrell the other day had shared about what happened to his church and uh, the previous one the king's outreach church it is uh, said that it was deregistered last year and one of the causes was an advice that they were given in terms of KRA, that is the Kenya Revenue and all, although it is advising them that it can quite become difficult for them to be paying taxes for two entities in terms of repentance and holiness and also the King's Outreach Church. And so that had led to their closure at first. But then afterwards, the other day, there was quite a commotion, let's say, whereby there was a pull and back people stating that it was not deregistered because of the links of the pastor of the prophet to Shakahola all, but it was due to some factors that they had agreed upon when they held an event together. Was it an event, an open gathering with its followers, over 20,000 people? Who unanimously agreed upon the closing down of that church so for anyone who was stating that the uh, the church was just recently closed down because of was deregistered because of matters concerning shakahola and all were wrong we also had the lawyers to this outreach king's outreach church of prophet a wall out there stating that they were not happy with the fact that they had even printed it on papers the picture of the prophet together with Mackenzie. so this could have shown that they were linked together and that was not the fact but apparently from the church what they get is pure blessings healing and miraculous activities The same thing has taken place for Pastor Ezekiel, whereby yeah he's facing attacks. I also links to Mackenzie and all. Despite the other time when he was arrested, he was just released and all. But now we are having it like a real car, like they're coming back for for him. Well, after the day registering and all those whereby it was stated by the Register of Societies that he should not continue, he went on ahead to even open his church the next Sunday. But uh, uh, even if people say that he defiled the law and all, it is clear that he had already filed for a petition in regard to this matter, whereby later on we find that the High Court suspended the decision by the Registrar of Societies to, re to deregister the church. This does will remain in effect until an application filed by the preacher to challenge the registrar's decision to close down the church is heard and determined. In his ruling on Monday, August 22, Justice J. Rasinga prohibited the state and its agents from interfering with the operations of the church. Let me just quote what it is stated. Quotations. An order of prohibition restraining the first respondent by itself, its agents or anyone else under its instructions from engaging in any manner of disruption or obstruction of the operations of New Life Prayer Center and charge under the gears of effecting the enforcement of the day registration published in the Gazette Notice. Leave is so granted to operate as a state of the first respondent directive cancelling the registration of the applicant's new life prayer center in charge as announced in the gazette notice published on the 18th of august 2023 and of quotations so that is what it happened so in simpler words all it was saying that Pastor Ezekiel can go on ahead with his activities. He can continue spreading the words, the miracles and all. Doing his wonders here and there, the healing. Telling people about what is currently happening. Although even after that, we had, we had him cancel a crusade that was supposed to take place. Even after he was given the go-ahead. But you know, in the mixture of all, all of this, we can all understand the reason behind all that okay so talk to me in the comment section and tell me what is your take in regard to this particular story and remember if it's happening i know all about it and if i know all about it i will tell you 
all about it so you can choose to like the video shares out there tell someone about this channel comment down below and subscribe so that you do not miss out on any updates so just subscribe for more